So you want a Blackberry. You're sick of typing long messages and or documents out on your glass screen and you want a physical keyboard in order to type these things out. But you still don't want to let go of your precious Android apps. So what do you do if you don't want to invest in the full flagship price of a Blackberry Key 2 which is still somewhat pricey at the moment? Your next best option is the Blackberry Key 1. Yes folks, we'll go over in this video why if you still want Android and a great typing experience on a traditional Blackberry, why the Key 1 is potentially the most ideal option for you. So if you've been a long time Blackberry user and are wanting to make a switch over to the Key 1, or if it's the first time you're looking to get a Blackberry, then keep watching to find out why the Key 1 might be the perfect choice for you. So first up, we'll be taking a look at what's on everyone's mind in terms of the Key 1, and that is the keyboard. If you're looking to have the BlackBerry Key 1 for the keyboard, then productivity is probably a priority for you. And I'm here to tell you that much like other Blackberries, the BlackBerry Key 1 keyboard makes it a productivity beast. It's a well-designed keyboard with three rows of letters with alternative keys that allow you to use symbols and letters quite easily compared to a virtual keyboard. Another benefit is that it actually has a built-in fingerprint reader in the spacebar as well. And this keyboard definitely continues the same vein of being very comfortable and offering just the right amount of tactile feedback that you would expect from a BlackBerry. I found the keys to be adequately spaced and the rubberized beveled up texture of each individual key was very pleasing to type on. There's an endless amount of customization and shortcuts that you can add to each individual key and this makes navigating through your favorite processes and repeated workflows much easier than working on a virtual keyboard. So if you have a set workflow or if you have set applications that you like to open and like to do it quickly then the BlackBerry Key One's keyboard definitely come through for you. particularly. If if you like doing these things on Android. Next up, we have the design. Now, if you're used to the design of modern smartphones, you're probably used to something rectangular with all glass fronts and backs. And the key one is remarkably different from this trend. This thing has the classic rubberized back that you find on a lot of Blackberries. It's grippy and it makes it very easy to hold and you won't worry about it slipping out of your hands. The Key One has a unique design element of being framed by an aluminum frame. It's a robust and sturdy design. You get a sense that it's very sturdy without too much flex. This was one of my favorite elements of the Key One, is how the design stands in such stark contrast to modern smartphones. One is that you have the keyboard at the bottom, which is also a very unique visual key in itself. And two is you have this unique silver aluminum frame that wraps around the entirety of the body that makes it really stand out from the bezel-less all-glass bodies that we see on most modern smartphones. So whenever I pull this thing out of my pocket or whenever I use it, the design always reminds me of what the purpose of the BlackBerry Key One is. That's productivity. It's not a bezel-less display meant for viewing videos and playing games. It's meant to do work. And the robust design of the edges, the keyboard, and the display makes this abundantly clear. This is a device designed to look like something you do work on and, and thankfully it's packing the right software to allow you to do so. Which brings us to the next point of why you should get the key one if you're looking to get a Blackberry, which is Android, the operating system found on this device. So finally we have the software on the BlackBerry Key 1. And yes folks, it's running Android, which might seem like an obvious statement at this point, but long-term BlackBerry users will tell you that beginning with the BlackBerry Priv and continuing on with the BlackBerry Key 1, having this operating system on a BlackBerry powered device with a BlackBerry keyboard is a big deal. The combination of all your most productive Android apps and the BlackBerry keyboard and various tweaks that BlackBerry has has made to the Android OS makes this a very exciting combination. You can type emails in Gmail, you can type in forms on your Chrome, all using your trusty BlackBerry keyboard on an operating system that we all know and love. So if you're used to working and being productive on Android handsets, then the BlackBerry keyboard with Android will be a welcome addition for you. 
And of course, you get all the benefits of a physical keyboard with a phone as well. So if you like to send text messages a lot as a part of your work, then the keyboard on the BlackBerry Key One makes typing text messages out a much more pleasurable experience. There's just something about thinking and typing on a tactile keyboard that allows me to more effectively communicate via text message. And this extends to all your favorite BlackBerry productivity apps like Wonderlist and other note-taking apps to which you have to use a virtual keyboard. So you'll find that a lot of your apps that you're used to using on Android will take on a whole new light once you have a physical keyboard on board with your computer. So there you have it everyone, between the keyboard, the design, and Android, these are three reasons why you might want to pick up a BlackBerry Key One. If you've ever been interested in BlackBerry or were looking for some kind of physical keyboard phone, then for these three reasons, the BlackBerry Key One might be a great option for you. These are relatively well-built phones, so if you can get one today in good shape at a good price, you might be very pleasantly surprised just what kind of return on investment you're getting. Particularly amongst the three BlackBerry handsets with Android, the Key One might be the best price to value ratio in terms of what you're getting with Android and the hardware. So what do you think? Are you a Key One owner? Or have you been on the fence about trying a BlackBerry for the first time? Leave a message down below. Don't forget to subscribe. And thanks for watching.